Hello, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, my name is Kikeli. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I have been thinking this is a great time to do a little housekeeping on this channel. So let's get into the video. I was thinking that sooner or later, someone was going to ask me what the meaning of miawezon is. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to just like kind of break the ice and just share what miawezon means or kind of give a little deeper definition of what it means and how it pertains to this channel. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Miawezon is a customary greeting or welcome in the Ewe or Ewe language. Some people say Ewe, some people say Ewe. Before I even started this channel, I know a lot of people on other platforms, they have like different kinds of greetings, like, hey girly, hey this, hey that. And those are like custom to your own channel. And it's like really nice and cool, but I didn't want to be coming here and all, always be saying like, hello guys, welcome back. And it's just... <laughs> I wanted something that was like a signature to this channel. And I thought of Miawezon. So Miawezon um, means you are welcome in Eve. Mina, people who speak Mina also say Miawezon. Now, let me break down what Miawezon actually means. Mia means you, formal. And Mia can also mean you plural every language is very very interesting language and waison waison means you are welcome but that waison also means like you can use waison for singular informal so if you know somebody and you're like very cool with them they're familiar to you you can say waison or waison lo which is very simple instead of saying mia waison mia waison is formal for one person and then also can be informal or formal for a group of people um and i have been thinking like not just thinking actually let me let me let me take a step back not too long ago i believe it's merriam webster they tweeted and they were asking people questions and one of the questions was what is a word or phrase in your language that you cannot translate into english in the correct or proper form i think that was what the question was and people were sharing different things or words and phrases in their languages and i think miawezon also falls in that category even though miawezon means you are welcome in the literal sense it means you have walked now i have been thinking why you have walked like it doesn't make sense if you translate it into other languages literally like you have walked so before in the ancient days not in the ancient days in those days before bicycles before cars people would walk people would take a horse or their donkey to go long distances and mainly walking especially to go see their relatives and in our culture in the Eve culture once they've arrived once you've arrived they will tell you miawezon or wezon, which means you have walked. But also, they're telling you you have walked, but they are also saying you are welcome. That is how I see it in my mind. Okay, so every speakers don't come and shoot me down for this, but this is how I see it in my mind. That's basically a little definition for miawezon. Now, I'm going to share a little background of myself and why Miawezon, like how it pertains to this channel. I'm a PK, and for those who don't know what a PK means, PK stands for Pastor's Kid. It's an abbreviation. I'm a Pastor's Kid, and I'm a first daughter as well. So we all know what comes with that, but today's not a day to unpack all of that. And um, growing up, being a pastor's kid or having your parents in ministry, it meant that there was a lot of foot traffic or let me actually say people traffic in your house. We, there was no day, there was no day in our household where there was, where there was silence. There was always people. Now it's, um, 
it's a norm in a lot of African um, households or communities that we have aunties, uncles, cousins, nephews. We always have a community. I had a community, but on top of that, I had another community and that was people from the church, you know, people coming to the house, trying to speak with the pastor, get prayers, advice, and all of that, all of that stuff that, you know, um, a shepherd or a leader of a church would normally provide, um, provide. Yeah, I think I, I would say provide um, the church members. And so we always had a lot of people in our house. Always, always, always. The way we were raised, I was raised, and I believe a lot of other Togolese children um, or just the people from Africa in general, whenever people came into your house, you had to greet them. You had to welcome them. When you welcomed them, you gave them something to drink or a snack before you started any other conversation. For the Eve and the Mina, we say Miawezon. Before I continue, I want to say that there are other languages being spoken in Togo, but Mina is what I speak, and I speak Eve. Miawezan evokes a sense of hospitality. It, it is telling the other person that you are welcome into my space. You are welcome into this community. You are welcome into this household. Be comfortable. Don't be tense. Make yourself feel at home. And as I was thinking about what the greeting would be for this channel. I just, it came into my mind, Miawezon. And Miawezon reminds me of home. It reminds me of the hospitality we extended to other people. It reminds me of just being in community with other people. It reminded me of how others would come to my parents' house and feel very welcomed and feel comfortable and everything. And I believe it's the same thing for other Togolese as well. Whenever I say Miawezon, know that I am extending hospitality to you. Even though I cannot see you physically, you are welcome to this part or to this corner of YouTube. So that is the little story behind Miawezon. And I think I forgot to say that I grew up in Togo ever since I was a baby. Togo has been a very big part of my life of my growth, of basically a lot of things that I acquired um, in life is from Togo. That's the little housekeeping that I wanted to do. If you have any questions about Eve or Mina, um, drop them down in the comment section below. I would love to answer some questions because Eve is, uh, Eve or Ewe, let me say Ewe before the Ewe people come and before my people come and start typing hardly in the comment section. Ewe is a very strong language. When I went back to Togo, my parents and I, my dad and my mom, we recorded a video where we I asked them a few questions about the difference between Ewe and Mina. I would try to look for that footage and probably edit it and post it up on this channel because I believe the shared some really important information. Even though the video was not perfect, there was like a lot of um, background noise. And I think if I recall clearly, like people were coming in and out, so we were not that focused, but I would try to look for that footage and edit it as to the best of my abilities and post it up just to give you guys a little overview. But Eve is, Eve or Ewe is a very strong language it's a very strong language mina is much more mellow it is similar to ewe and i speak mina a lot compared to speaking ewe and i would love to share more about the language on this channel because a lot of us in the diaspora once we come here we forget a lot of things and even like the kids that are born in the diaspora like a lot of parents do not have time to teach your children your native languages and things like that and it's unfortunate that when we go back home and we try to speak it we become the laughing stock of the community because people are like they're laughing at us they think it's funny the way our accent sounds when we're trying to speak the language and so hopefully i might if i have time i would love to explore more of um educational content in regards to like language and Ewe and Mina specifically share some things hopefully to teach you guys how to speak 
Ewe and Mina and to help me as well remember things. We need to preserve our languages. We should not forget where we come from. And I believe that's it. Oh, also the other thing I wanted to share is that um, thank you all so much for those who have been watching the videos. I truly appreciate it. But I would love for you to interact. Like if you watch one of my videos, like like it, like click that like button. Because once you click the like button, like YouTube is able to like show it to other people or recommend it to other people. So please do me a favor and click that like button. And I would also love for you to interact. Like in the comment section, do interact. I was looking at the analytics and it showed that 60 something percent of people who watch the videos are not subscribed. I don't know what that is supposed to mean, but you know yourself. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and join the community. I just told myself it would be really great to create a laid back video and share as it was fresh in my mind. Just share a little bit about me always on. So thank you so much for watching this um, housekeeping video. Um, do like, comment. If you would love a Togolese tag, put your questions in the comment section. I Unfortunately, I would not be able to like post a poll on Instagram because I currently do not have an Instagram account. I mean, I do, but it's deactivated. And so, but if you do want to see a Togolese tag, put your questions in the comment section below. I would love to answer your questions. And yeah, this video is getting a little too long right now. So um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting. I'm not going to take the time that you spend watching for granted. And until the next time, I hope you take care and we will talk soon. Bye.